This health news segment is brought to you by the Black Business School dot com. The Black Business School dot com. Yes, I am a faithful member. Incredible non optional wealth building education from arguably the greatest B1 financial guru in the world. Dr. Boyce Watkins. Visit the Black Business School dot com today and start building wealth as you build your health. Smoking that weed, smoking that weed, triple the odds for lead artery disease, triple the odds for lead leg artery disease, according to a recent study. Okay, smoking marijuana, smoking that weed, my brothers and sisters, takes a toll on the arteries in your legs and arms. New research shows whenever you take what God has created and you manipulate it and you put up and you smoke it, you take away the medicinal benefits. You can get mad and yell and scream. We're the most overweight. We're the sickliest, the most cancer, the most diabetes, the most heart disease, the most stroke. Yeah, yes, we we the worst in health. You don't have any solutions. So what are you whining about the video? Put the weed down. You're not helping anybody reverse heart disease. You're not helping anybody lose weight. You're not improving the health of our community. You haven't helped a single person in your life to reverse no doggone diseases. We have Mama Jones, 74 years old. The, the sisters, the, the elders hands were so crumbled up from rheumatoid arthritis. She couldn't even juice. And all praises to the most high. She's been listening to a nobody like me, a little old preacher from St. Louis that God has taught how to heal. And now she can juice. Now she can juice decades of debilitating pain. You don't have one person and you sitting there defending weed as if it's your Lord and Savior. Cut the idolatry out, my brothers and sisters, and put the weed down. Cut the idolatry out, my brothers and sisters, and keep the and put the weed down. Folks who tote regularly face at three times the greater risk of per peripheral artery disease than those who didn't. Scientists suggest that the THC in marijuana can trigger clotting and harm the tissue lining the vessels while also causing them to constrict. OK, so again, it's just as dangerous as smoking cigarettes. It's not more medicinal. That's a lie, especially the way they're raising and making this weed now. And even if you raise and make it organic, it's still not healthy to take plants and smoke it. No, I'll never support that. I'll never support that. I support the medicinal uses of cannabis. I do medicinal, not smoking it medicinal. And I stand on the shoulders of the late great Dr. Layla Africa, the prophet of African health. When I make that statement, I stand on his shoulders when I say that I say to our ancestor, the late great prophet of African health, the GOAT, Dr. Laila Africa, may he rest in peace. He was 100% against smoking plants. And I am also just as my teacher was. I am also just as the teacher and prophet of African health was. He strictly forbade that. He strictly taught against that. And he helped bring people, black folk back from the brink of death. Although the study is preliminary and does it determine whether the impact is all from smoking weed or other popular methods of using the drugs, such as eating marijuana infused gummies, it is a red flag for users and could be something their doctors should ask to gauge risk factors for their patients. Weed smokers should seek early evaluation by a healthcare professional if they have symptoms such as leg pain while walking, slower, no hair growth and coldness in the leg, as there seems to be an increased risk for developing PAD in this patient population, says study authors Dr. Herva Vias from Hashanak University Medical Center in New Jersey. Huh? OK, so what I'm going to do is, you know, I'm going to put the link to this study. And there's plenty more. There's thousands of studies showing the dangers of smoking weed. And so this is just one. And because you don't believe in the most high and you want to hear what these folks, stupid scientists, this stuff, that they don't mean nothing to me. The most high said he created medicines from earth. God created medicines from the earth. Fresh fruits and vegetables. That's good enough for me. But 
that's not good enough for you. And you and you need to see some doggone science. I'll put I'll have the link for you and you can knock yourself out. More than six hundred twenty thousand of the 30 million patients were marijuana users. They had an average age of just over 37 years old. While the marijuana users had a much greater risk of develop of developing peripheral artery disease. Had a much the marijuana users had a much greater risk of developing peripheral artery disease. It's possible that smoking weed changes how blood clots or affects peripheral vascular tone. The study authors suggested. The study found that marijuana users were at an increased risk even after controlling for some variables including smoking cigarettes. Whew. It is paramount to note that the active ingredient THC is metabolized in different ways when smoked versus ingested and may have differing risk factors associated with each. BoyceWatkins.com BoyceWatkins.com To stay up to date on important financial updates, events, seminars, everything the premier B1 financial guru of our era has going on, you don't want to miss it. Very important to be on Dr. Boyce's email list. Tons of uncensored financial information you will not receive anywhere else, especially financial empowerment specifically for the black community. BoyceWatkins.com. 6.5 6.5 million Americans have PAD and nearly 50 million Americans now report using marijuana, according to the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. The takeaway for this for providers, particularly in younger adults, is that these data suggest a red flag. And what that means is that providers need to be asking at each patient encounter for their patients to be very transparent about cannabinoid cannabinoid use, no judgment involved, but we need to be using this as a risk factor for both coronary, that's heart, and peripheral artery disease. Okay, there you go, red flag. So every so doggone smoking weed should come with a black box warning that it can cause your heart to fry, the leading cause of death in black people. My solution, of course, I am a minister, and so uh, a a minister, and and, and as a minister, I say that we should not have any addictions, okay, any negative addictions in our lives, and that there are voids in our lives are supposed supposed to be fulfilled by service to the most high service to others. Take a jog, take a walk, read a book, go on a missionary trip, but find something to replace that void that is that is leading you to smoke plants and other illicit drugs and alcohol and, and junk foods. I know it's difficult because they create an extremely stressful environment and they have all these different drugs and vices for us. But brothers and sisters, we have a responsibility to make the best of the only life that we get. Okay, and we only get one life and and smoking plants, firing up and smoking plants. I know it's pleasurable when when you're doing it, but too much evidence is coming out about its harmful effects. Please like and share, like and share. If you know anybody that smokes weed, please don't be selfish. Share this video with them. Hit the like button so we can help get this information out. Make sure you search for and subscribe to the Minister of Wellness YouTube channel for much more detailed health information. Also visit theministerofwellness.com and join my email list to receive a free copy of my biblical principles that eradicate obesity and all disease ebook. You can also book one-on-one health coaching. And for this month, May, 2023, You can get amazing savings with my Mental Health Awareness Month Supplement Package and Black Health Disparities Herbal Package, which you can find at theministerofwellness.com under store. For help with ordering or if you have any questions, comments or concerns, please call 888-847-8026, 888-847-8026. 
theministerofwellness.com.